States of matter. Let's study about states of matter. Matter exists in three different forms. Matter exists in three different forms. They are solid, liquid, gas. They are solid, liquid, gas. Solids have a definite shape and size. Solids have a definite shape and size. It can be in different colors and textures. It can be in different colors and textures. Examples are book, pencil, cloth, table, car. Examples are book, pencil, cloth, table, car. Liquids do not have definite shape. Liquids do not have definite shape. It takes the shape of its container. It takes the shape of its container. Examples are water, juice, milk, oil, honey. Examples are water, juice, milk, oil, honey. Gas does not have a specific shape. Gas does not have a specific shape. It occupies the space within the container. It occupies the space within the container. Examples are the air we breathe, cooking gas, wind, water vapor, smoke from fire. Examples are the air we breathe, cooking gas, wind, water vapor, smoke from fire. Question time. Solids. Solids have a definite shape and size. Liquids Liquids do not have a definite shape. Gas Gas does not have a specific shape. Now, I will tell an object. You need to tell me which state of matter does it belong. Okay. Book is Book is solid state of matter. Water is Water is liquid state of matter. Smoke is Smoke is gas state of matter. Once more Solids Solids have a definite shape and size. Liquids Liquids do not have a definite shape. Gas Gas does not have a specific shape. Now, I will tell an object. You need to tell me which state of matter does it belong. Okay. Book is Book is solid state of matter. Water is Water is liquid state of matter. Smoke is Smoke is gas state of matter. Let's learn changing states of matter. Can a matter change from one state to another state? Substance might change from one state to another state. When they are heated or cooled. Let's understand more with an example of water. 
Water exists in liquid form. Water exists in liquid form. When water kept in fridge to freeze, it turns into ice cube. When water kept in fridge to freeze, it turns into ice cube. Now water changed from liquid to solid state. This process is called freezing. Now water changed from liquid to solid state. This process is called freezing. When ice cube is allowed to melt, it turns into water. When ice cube is allowed to melt, Turns into water. Now ice cube changed from solid to liquid state. This process is called melting. Now ice cube changed from solid to liquid state. This process is called melting. When water is heated, it turns into water vapor. When water is heated, it turns into water vapor. Now water changed from liquid to gas state. This process is called evaporation. Now water changed from liquid to gas state. This process is called evaporation. When water vapor cools, it turns into water particles when water vapor cools it turns into water particles now water vapor changed from gas to liquid state this process is called condensation now water vapor changed from gas to liquid state this process is called condensation. Now I will tell the name of the process and you need to tell me the change in the state of matter. Freezing. Matter changes from liquid to solid. For example, water to ice cube. Melting Matter changes from solid to liquid For example Ice cube to water Evaporation Matter changes from liquid to gas For example When water is heated, it turns into water vapor Condensation Matter changes from gas to liquid For example When water vapor cools, it turns into water particles Once more Freezing Matter changes from liquid to solid For example Water to ice cube Melting Matter changes from solid to liquid. For example, Ice cube to water. Evaporation. Matter changes from liquid to gas. For example, When water is heated, it turns into water vapor. Condensation. Matter changes from gas to liquid. For example, When water vapor cools, it turns into water particles. Excellent!